right, guys, on today's video, we are going to be adjusting the valves on this uh, Kawasaki FS600V. This is a uh, 2022 model. It has 851 hours. This happens to be on my 48 inch trim star. And I believe Kawasaki recommends that you do this every, I think it's 300 hours. I have not ever done this yet, and the reason that I'm doing it is because uh, I'm starting to have a little bit of trouble with the engine starting when it's really cold, like in the 20s. So um, it's time to do it. It's way over time, but we're going to go ahead and do it. So you're going to have to remove the um, rocker arm cover on both sides to do each set of uh, each cylinder. Obviously, this is a V twin. It's uh, two cylinders. So this is 10 millimeter uh, socket. We'll take the uh, cover bolts off and you want to make sure to have something underneath some paper towels, maybe a tiny little pan or something underneath the cover because when this comes off there's going to be some oil that comes out. Not a huge amount but I've got a uh, this is like a three inch extension on the ratchet and it makes for uh, doing this really easy. Now I did get the gaskets for this just in case these gaskets are um, really brittle or if they tear, removing the valve cover or the rocker arm. This is technically a rocker arm cover. Almost everybody calls it a valve cover. So, either one, it doesn't matter. So, you're going to have to check the specs for your particular engine. But this one, the valve adjustment for both the intake and the exhaust, both are between four and six thousandths of an inch. So, I'm going to be setting it at four thousandths. And... I'm going to show you how to do that. This is a job that most people would probably take to their lawnmower shop to do, but as you're going to see, it is not hard at all. And it doesn't require hardly any tools, any specialty tools. Okay, so that came right off. I've got my peg pad right here, and here is the rocker cover. It's even marked this as cylinder number two. And I'm going to see if I can get this gasket off. Oh boy, it's a good thing. Yep, that thing is fused to the block, so it's a good thing. Now, I can just leave this here, which I may do. It's not damaged in any way. Um, I may just leave the gasket on here. It wasn't leaking before, so we will... Uh, we'll Keep that as an option. So what I'm going to do to make this job easier, and what I recommend that you do, is that you remove the spark plugs from both cylinders. It will make turning this engine over a lot easier. You're going to need a uh, feeler gauge for sure. And I'm going to take this top cover off that's on the mower. I'm going to take this top cover off right here so I can spin it over by hand. But let me go ahead and take the plugs out and do that, and then I'll show you how to adjust the valves. All right, so what we want to do is we want to get this cylinder on the compression stroke for this cylinder, and that is where we want to adjust our valve. So the way that you can do that is you can take a screwdriver or a wooden dowel or something and just put it in the spark plug hole, turn the... Um, engine over in the direction of the rotation and you will see the screwdriver go up and down as it as the piston connects it <clears throat> so we see the you have your exhaust valve here and you've got your or your exhaust rocker and valve assembly here and spring and your intake here so the exhaust valve is opening so we know we're on the exhaust stroke now it's closing and we're getting ready to have the intake valve open. 
So we're on the intake stroke. Okay, now we're coming up. So what we want to do is we're now on the compression stroke. And as the piston comes up all the way, we want to get it to its farthest travel. Okay, let's see if that's... Okay, that's about it. Okay, so I felt it kind of go over the top. So, so that should be the furthest travel and the rockers for both the intake and the exhaust should be loose, should be able to move them like this, okay? Now, very simply, I'm just gonna take my 4,000th gauge and we'll do the uh, intake first and you can see that that's way too low. So I wanna see exactly what this clearance is just for my own personal knowledge. So we're gonna see if a 6,000th fits in here. Okay, and it doesn't. So we'll see if a 5,000th fits in there, which probably, that's probably going to be where it's at right now. Okay, so the 5,000th fits in the intake, but the 6 barely does. Let's check the exhaust. Okay, so a 6 fits in the exhaust. That's way, I mean, that's within spec, but let's see if a 7 fits in there. Oh, yep. See, these are way too loose. See if an eight fits in there. Yep. A nine. Okay, so this exhaust valve is set to eight thousandths, which is way, way, way too loose. And I think probably if you're going to get one out of spec, it's usually the exhaust because it's, it's so much hotter. So really the intake is in spec, the exhaust valve is out of spec. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set both of them to uh, four thousandths. We'll tighten them up a little bit. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't realize the camera had died, the battery. So <clears throat> let's go over this again. Um, basically, you're going to loosen this nut right here on top on both of these um, with a 10 millimeter. And then at the bottom, this is where you would turn this and it's going to make the uh, rocker arm here tighter or looser. So I already did that. So we have a nice drag on the intake and we have a nice nice drag on the exhaust. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the other side and I will not show taking the valve cover off, but we'll go and check the valves again and see how uh, far out they are, if any. So we'll be right back. All right, so just like on the uh, other side, but not quite as bad, uh, the exhaust valve is six thousandths and it looks like the intake is about five thousandths so it's not as bad as the other ones but um, we're going to reset both of these to four thousandths so we'll do the uh, intake valve first i'm going to loosen this well actually this is opposite on the other side so i will uh Loosen this here. Crack it loose. There we go. So this is basically kind of upside down of the other one. All right, so we'll get our four thousandths. And then right here is the what you actually do use to adjust it. And I just want a slight drag, just like that. And 
I'm going to attempt to hold this still. And then tighten this. And we'll recheck it. All right, that's too tight. So I was not able to hold it very still, apparently. See if I can just do it this way. There we go. Nice slight drag. So I'm going to go ahead and hold this and just uh, tighten it up. Very good. Now I'll loosen this side. This is the exhaust valve. And the way that you can tell is it's right in front. You can see this is in front of the exhaust pipe and this is in front of the intake. That's way too tight. Okay, that's good. This is a little tricky on the bottom because my hand wants to hit the uh, adjuster like it just did right there. Let me make sure this camera battery is not died. All right, so I'm getting ready to lose battery again. So we'll just we'll just stay with it till it quits. All right, that's a good drag right there. I'm gonna loosen up just a hair, okay. Actually, it's probably better to do it with this side. There we go. All right, so uh, I've got everything buttoned up, got the plugs back in. Everything is back on the engine like it was before. Let's uh, crank it up and see how it runs. All right, I don't know if you guys saw, it's, it's the low 40s out here. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to start up the other trim star, which is also cold. And uh, I don't even think this one will start up that fast. We'll see. All right, so it's almost as fast. That one only has uh, woo, probably, it's got 10.3 hours. This trim store has 
851.3 hours. All right, guys. Well, the project here at hand is done. I am probably going to do this maybe every 500 hours or so. Uh, but I don't know how much your dealer would charge to do this, but it's super easy. Without videoing, um, maybe 10 minutes per side total. So if you can invest 20 minutes, 30 minutes total in the project, you can save you some money and you'll know it's done correctly. But this has made a huge difference in starting. I am amazed. Well, I guess I'm not amazed, but I didn't realize that uh, the cylinder was so far out of um, spec. But I should have known. Oh, I did know something was wrong because of how difficult it was to start in 23 degree weather. When that one right there started up much quicker. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys on the next one.